Hello and welcome to this video which is using a microscope. It is a required practical for GCSE. Um, it's in the topic B1. It can also be used, uh, anyone really who's looking at using a microscope can have a look at this video and it's used in the cells lesson in year seven as well. So I'm gonna talk through the microscope, how we make a slide and how we view that slide. So we've got here our microscope, we have an eyepiece lens here at the top. We have the objective lenses at the bottom and you can see there's lots of different sizes of objective lens. We've got this one here, which is red and that is a times four magnification. We've got a yellow one, which is times 10 and we've got a blue one, which is times 40. And we choose the smallest magnification, the lowest magnification magnification first of all and we've clicked that just into position there okay and we tend to start with the stage which is this because we always look at stuff on a stage if we're at a concert or something we look at the stage so that's where we're going to put our sample to look at it and then we go with lowering it down rather than raising it up because when you use one of these big um objective lenses and you raise it up you are in danger of cracking the slide so we tend to start with the stage as high as possible and then lower it down and we've got these focusing knobs here we've got the coarse adjustment here which does kind of big movements and then we've got the fine adjustment here which just helps us to focus in at the end so that is our microscope let's say so here in the eyepiece lens we have a times 10 magnification down here I've got times 4 now I'm using both of those at the same time so 10 multiplied by 4 is 40 so what I'm seeing under here will be 40 times more magnified than it really is okay and then as I change it that will change the magnification okay so I've got a clean microscope slide there and you can see how I'm holding it so I don't put any fingerprints on it. And I've cut already a section of onion there. I'm gonna take one of those bits of onion and you know when you get that layer inside the onion here, I can take my forceps and I can just peel that layer back. Now if I rip it, I can always just get another piece. It's no big deal. Peeled it back there and I'm actually just going to go in for using my fingers now and I've got this um, piece of the onion skin there and I'm just going to pop that it doesn't matter which way around onto the slide and I don't want it to kind of wrinkle up I want it to be as flat as possible and you can see that on the slide there that's probably a bit better to see it. it's as flat as possible and then I'm going to use some of the iodine solution to stain that. And what that's going to allow to happen is to see, just one little drop there, the, um, the key subcellular structures more easily. So the nucleus, the cell wall will be highlighted using um, that iodine solution. And then somewhere on here, I had a microscope a cover slip where has it gone i think i'm gonna have to get another one out so we've got the microscope slide which is the bigger piece of glass and then we've got these really fine it must be on there somewhere but i can't see it um microscope cover slips okay well cover slips and these are even thinner pieces of glass and i've got loads here okay so i'm just going to take one really fine piece of glass okay like that that is going to sit on top and keep that nice and flat so i'm going to hold that and the way we do it is we just hold it on one side and drop give it a little tap and there it is in place on top of the slide there then i'm going to put that underneath and I've got these clips which can hold it in place underneath on the microscope and I'm going to have a look okay see what I can see okay now inside that microscope there is a pointer and that's really useful it helps I turn it on get some light on the situation uh, inside there is a pointer 
really useful. You can line something up with the pointer and then show somebody else. Okay, so at the moment I can see loads and loads. They look like bricks. Okay, and they're all kind of lined up higgly piggly. I'll show you a picture shortly of what that should look like. And um, it's really tempting when we draw these to just draw kind of some grid lines, some giant noughts and crosses, and, and imagine that's what it looks like, but it's not really, okay? So you've got to draw what you see, focus on a few cells and just draw exactly what you see. Once that's in focus, we can do the fine adjustment there. We'll go on to the medium magnification. Now it might be that that's as far as you can go and you can't focus it on the high power, that's fine. Okay, it might be that you can go on to the high power as well. So let's have a little look. And that is brilliant. I've got a really good image there of the um, onion, skin uh, onion skin cells there. Okay, so I'm gonna have a go at showing you what they really look like. And then we'll talk through writing a method because this is a required practical. Okay, this is, I've actually put my phone down the um, the uh, eyepiece lens, so this is actually what I'm seeing in the microscope. Okay, so we can pause this on the screen in lesson, and you can see those cells there. They're kind of like bricks, but not exactly the same. Okay, so you can see the iodine solution has stained them, and the pointer there you can see, and that's exactly what you're seeing. This is me holding my phone at the microscope so you can see exactly what I can see down the microscope and that is the onion skin cells. We can even see some of the nuclei there, one nucleus per cell and each of those is one cell. So quite often in um, the exams we see six marker questions that are writing a method, particularly for these required practicals. So here is an outline of a method we could write for this required practical. So I didn't actually feel the need to add a drop of water to the slide today, but that can help it to sit nice and flat. I use some tweezers or some forceps to separate some of the epidermal tissue of the onion, that thin layer between the um, layers of onion. I added a drop of the iodine solution, and that helps to stain the organelles, these subcellular structures. I then um, placed the cover slip on top. I showed you that fine piece of glass um, and tried to remove any air bubbles by giving it a small tap. <coughs> I then clipped the slide onto the stage to keep it steady. Started with the lower, lowest powered objective lens and I used the coarse adjustment knob to move the stage just below the objective lens. I then looked into the eyepiece and I used the coarse adjustment knob to move the stage downwards until it was roughly in focus. And then I didn't actually need to today, but um, I can adjust that with the fine adjustment knob until it's clear. And then I increased the power of the magnification. So what I ended up on, I had um, it on the times 10, um, magnification in the eyepiece and times 10 in the objective. So 10 times 10, I got it 100 times bigger than it actually was, okay? So that was where I took that magnification to, okay? Your teacher now can pause this so you can get your method written, uh, maybe do it as a flashcard, plan it out as a six marker, take the key points from this method. Hope you found that useful, thank you.